Hello there guys and welcome to this P3D version 4 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an application that I've actually stumbled upon at the Sim Market web store a few days ago called FS Flight Control. This application is a touch optimized instructor station that allows you to position your aircraft anywhere you want in the world. Not only that, but it has a real time map, weather, and it is really jam packed with features. It is available for all versions of P3D, FSX, Dovetail Flight SimWorld, as well as X Plane 10 and 11. For the X Plane 10 and 11 versions, it is now available in public beta. I will not be covering every feature and details in this video. I'm going to provide you with an overview so that you can decide whether this is something that would be useful for you or not. We are currently situated at Bozeman Airport in the state of Montana. And the very first thing that I want to show you in FS Flight Control is the position feature. It happens to be my absolute favorite. It gives you the ability to position the aircraft literally anywhere. As you can see, uh, once you select an airport ICO code, uh, the, all the available runways and helipads are available to position the aircraft on. It gives you all the runway information in terms of length, altitude, heading, and ILS frequency if available. And the nice thing about this um, application, it gives you finer control over what you want to do. You can create your own training scenario, if you will. So you can, for example, select uh, the, the gate by type. So I want to go to a the fuel ramp or I want to go to uh, a gate and then I can select the parking position and then move the aircraft there. In a similar fashion, you can also uh, conduct approach training at this particular airport for this particular runway. So if I select runway 29 and I say I want to practice a takeoff, so it will position the aircraft on runway 29 and then I can uh, if I click okay actually let me click there so it will actually take me there so if I click on runway 12 then it will take me to runway 12 for takeoff and so on and so forth and as you can see here we can also practice down uh, wind left and right vectors left and right or you can actually do an 8 or 3 nautical mile final to to the runway to practice your approach now the really cool thing that I really like is the SIDS and STARS. You can actually position your aircraft at the beginning of a SID or STAR to practice uh, your uh, flying skills. So for example, let's say that you want to do a, you want to practice your um, skills and you want to land at a really difficult airport like Kitek or Innsbruck, then you can actually go to the standard terminal arrival route which is the star and position the aircraft exactly there. There isn't really a star for this particular runway, but there is an approach transition. So we can actually position the aircraft at exactly that transition. Now, before we do so, you can actually change the speed. So you can specify at which speed you want the aircraft to be loaded. If you can also change the pitch trim, you can select whether you want the gear to be down or up. You can select your flap settings and you can configure the heading and course inside the aircraft to correspond to the transition selected. So, for example, let us select here um, this particular transition and we'll go to Hotel India Alpha. And now we can move the aircraft to that particular waypoint. Let's click there. There we go. So now the aircraft has been positioned exactly at this approach transition. And now the only thing you need to do is unpause and fly the approach. Very, very nice feature. I really like this particular um, feature in this program. Now, another very good feature is a real time moving map that gives you the ability to actually, it works kind of like a flight back. And my recommendation, of course, is to display this on a second monitor if you have one. So normally that's what I do. I have a second monitor and I display the program on the second monitor 
it's a lot easier, it's a lot more functional. Um, but again, because I'm, for the purpose of doing the video, I, I, I have no means of recording the other screen. So the moving map, the real-time moving map, actually um, is a very good map because it provides a wealth of information. And again, the nice thing about it is that you have the ability to show or hide the information that you require. So I can say, for example, here, center aircraft, and now we're centered on the aircraft, or I can move to wherever I want. This is our airport, and let me zoom in to show you the details. So we've got all the parking positions, the gate positions mapped here. You also have the ability to display or hide the, um, uh, the VOR and NDB stations, obviously the ILS, the markers. Uh, as you can see now, the markers displayed here. And really what I like about this map is that it gives you the ability to display AI tr uh, traffic. Uh, so if you are uh, not using any online service uh, such as VATSIM or Pilot Edge, you can display the AI traffic on the moving map. You can also display VATSIM, IVAO or Pilot Edge. You can display the airways high and low. Um, the waypoints, the weather stations, as you can see now we have a weather, weather station here. You can uh, zoom in and zoom out all from within uh, the moving map. And for this reason, I think it is probably a better idea to have it on a, uh, on a second screen. The aircraft feature in FS Flight Control gives you a lot of information about your aircraft status, including the speed, uh, indicated true and ground speed, your altitude, as you can see, lots of information here about the aircraft's um, electrical system, pressurization, everything really that you need to know about your aircraft, the status of your engines, engine control, engine switches, um, radio and autopilot, and you can change the frequencies uh, on the go here from within FS Flight Control. And as you can see here, you can also manipulate the autopilot, auto throttle if, if the aircraft is equipped, the light and switches, TCAS alert, ATC control, everything can be controlled from within the aircraft feature. FS Flight Control also allows you to record uh, your actual approach and then examine all the data to see how well you've done. So it has complete graphs showing your airspeed, your vertical speed, the angle and altitude uh, throughout your flight. And by the way, it has full support for Active Sky uh, version 4. And there's also the approach statistics. So it will display, of course, we're, we're posed right now, but it will give you all the information about your approach, visibility, temperature, wind, dew point, um, and everything else that you need. Uh, in order to set up the scenario that you want exactly the way you want. And it will tell you exactly how well you've done. FS Flight Control gives you the ability to create a manual flight plan uh, using this feature here, or you can actually import a ready-made uh, flight plan. You can set the departure airport, uh, which is in this case, uh, Bosman Airport, and we're going to set an arrival airport, and let's say that it's... Uh, let's say Kalax, Los Angeles, and we're just going to say OK, and it immediately will display all the available runways for you uh, with the heading, the length, and whether they are ILS equipped or not. So we'll just select 24 left and we'll say OK, and now we're going to say calculate airway route, and we're going to say OK. So now the airway route is being calculated, and once that's done, then we can, we're going to say just OK and OK. All right, so now this is, this is the entire uh, flight plan. And if we click on the map, we can actually see the flight plan now. This is the pink line here um, that shows the entire flight plan to Los Angeles. I just started Active Sky 4 uh, so that we can get some weather information here. And as you can see now, we have... Um, the weather information provided from the sim and um, so just to show you that there is a full compatibility with active sky 4 uh, you can also select from available weather themes and by the way those are not um, fs flight control weather themes those are the ones available in um, in p3d 
Uh, you can also select real-time weather. So if you don't have Active Sky uh, or any other weather generation engine, you can also have FS Flight Control inject its own real-time weather. ILS visibility, um, CAT 1, 2, or 3. This is, of course, depending on the aircraft uh, size and number of engines. Custom weather, so if you'd like to load a uh, your own METAR, you can do that. And also you can create weather presets and use them later. FS Flight Control also provides support for the Brunner product line. If you're unfamiliar with them, they are a company that produces high fidelity uh, motion simulators. They've got a lot of products for, um, for flight uh, simulation as well as um, driving simulation. If you do not own the GSX Ground Services add-on for P3D or FSX, no worries at all. FS Flight Control gives you a full pushback module uh, with very fine control over how you want to push back your aircraft, including the turn angles and the distance. Other features include fuel and load, view, failures, and I do want to show you the settings menu. Now, the settings menu gives you two types of settings, aircraft-related settings and not aircraft-related settings. Now, in the aircraft-related settings, you can um, change the profile of the aircraft, so you can customize the profiles. Uh, the position, so you can save a particular position for a particular aircraft. Uh, you can also manipulate the map colors to your liking and preference. Uh, you can also um, set the default zoom levels. As you can see, it's very, very fine control over everything. Uh, the pushback, again, you can, the pushback speed and the turn radius, failures, the aircraft and the stats. So you are able to manipulate all of these settings. My concluding remarks on FS Flight Control is that it is a brilliant application specifically for those of you who wish to practice their flying skills. Now the price of this plugin is 49 euros and 95 euro cents and I am in no way shape or form compensated to do this video. I have paid the full price uh, from the Sim Market uh, web store, and as it is always the case, I will provide you with a link to the plugin in the description section of the video. I do want to thank you all for watching this video, and until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.